Hello and welcome to the Longevity Learning Lab. Today we're going to make a few stick welds using the TIG Weld 200EX in the stick welding mode. So in the stick welding mode it operates from 10 to 170 amps at a 25 percent duty cycle. So hang out for a few minutes and let's take a look at some of the welds that we can make using the TIG Weld 200EX in the stick welding mode. I set up a T-joint using two pieces of 3 16 thick, 3 16 L stainless steel plate. I set them up in a T-joint configuration, and if it had a weld symbol, it would look like this, a fillet weld on the arrow side. I used some 1 8 3 16 L 16. I set the machine at 100 amps DC electrode positive. I set the arc force at 5. I set the hot start at 5 also. And set the arc length at 5 also. There's the parts that got fit up. The stainless puddle is very fluid, so I want to make sure that I keep a short arc and a proper rod angle. So about 10 or 15 degrees in the direction of travel and about 45 degrees off of the horizontal plane. I want to keep a nice short arc and watch the upper edge to make sure that I don't get any undercut, which is real easy to do with this stainless stick electrode. The arc from the machine was very smooth and stable, and it kept the arc in there tight the duration of the joint. At the end, it just takes a quick snap of the wrist is all that's required to break the arc and to finish the weld. Sometimes you've really got to chip at it to get that stainless slag off of there. Here's the completed weld. So I decided I was going to go ahead and blend in the weld and make it radius as though if it was for a piece of food equipment or dairy, some type of winery or brewery, maybe even a pharmaceutical application. In setups like that, the weld has to be radius and has to be blended in on stainless steel so that the equipment can be sanitized and cleaned up and sterilized at the end of the shift. So I worked on radiusing in the lower half of it first and getting that side blended in. So there's what I had and it looked pretty good. So then I flipped it on around to work on the other side to try to blend that side in. So once again I'm paying attention to Try to make sure that I get a good flush, clean radius into the weld. Remove any kind of ripples, any kind of voids that are there. So it's important when we weld this up with the stick that we don't wiggle or leave any kind of irregularities or ripple in the surface of the weld or it's very difficult to come along or we've got to come back and patch up those spots and it's not very easy and very consistent. So once I got that side blended in, here's what we had. Really came out good. So thanks again for spending a few minutes, and have a great day.